Electronics permeate our daily life. Rigid chips and circuits are vital components of so many devices integral to our society. John Rogers, a material science and engineering professor at the University of Illinois, has been pushing the limits of technology, spending the last 12 years working toward developing electronic components that can bend, stretch, and even dissolve. We're making electronics over here, biology's over here. Now we can bring those two things together in a way that hasn't been possible before. We're looking for a way to take essentially big, bulky, invasive medical monitoring procedures and make them non-invasive and feel invisible. The kind of characteristics you would want in electronics if you want to integrate with the body are characteristics that match the body. So you want tissue-like electronics that can laminate and come into conformal contact with different organs of the body in a way that's completely natural, completely non-invasive. So this is a uh, silicon wafer and it has good electronic properties. It matches well with the kind of fabrication steps that are needed to form integrated circuits. If you take the wafer, there are specialized materials tricks that we've developed that allow you to shave off the very near surface of this wafer. You end up with a flexible sheet of silicon. So I think my first reaction when I heard about this type of technology was cyborg research. <laughs> um, but I, I saw it and I saw, I saw it and I thought, oh wow, this is, this is really cool stuff. This system can do all kinds of things. We've done a lot in three areas of the body in particular. Those three have been in neuroscience. We have devices that wrap the surface of the brain. They can diagnose epileptic seizures with unprecedented precision. We have other kinds of devices that wrap the 3D time dynamic surface of the beating heart to gain insights into conditions associated with arrhythmias. And we've also developed devices that laminate directly on the skin and can provide important physiological measurements through the skin. So you can imagine these circuits is very much like a kid's temporary tattoo in terms of their mechanics. For sensors that are implanted inside the body, Rogers and his team have developed transient electronics that are designed to dissolve after a period of time. We are really seeing only the tip of the iceberg that there's a lot more to do in the future. Beyond the medical and health applications, Rogers' flexible and transient electronics can be employed to monitor an athlete's performance and environmental conditions. We're always looking for different ways to apply flexible, stretchable electronics. The biggest thing I would say about Professor Rogers is he has an insane ability to look at a technology that exists in some other format and say, hey, can you guys make that flexible and stretchable and what can you do in the body? And you know, the answer might be no, we can't do that at the end of the day, but we don't know, so it's time to find out. <laughs>